Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Monday the 25th of July. Well, first a quick recap. Well, disappointing day Saturday. Uh, we had a few big price runners that ran okay. And to be fair, I apologise now. I got the draw bias wrong at York. Um, I went for the slightly higher numbers. The horses ran nothing more than okay. Um, but didn't do enough to get in a place. It was clear there's that advantage. Well, I've um, spent a lot of time... Sunday, I haven't looked at Monday's races, and I've basically just gone all in on, well, not all in state wise, all in on the um, focus on at air. Well, air, it's due to be raining pretty much all day Sunday, or most of day Sunday, throughout the night, and up to about racing time Monday. It's currently described as good, but I believe it's going to be at least, at least good to soft, but I think it's probably going to be soft. Well, in a nutshell, I like I like the uh, Michael Dodd's horses. I like the um, she's not really no, renowned for having doubles and treble, but I do fancy a few of Linda Perrett's, and all the horses that I have tipped can all handle soft ground. It doesn't mean they're going to win just because it's soft. They could run, still run below par, but the horses where I think they are all potentially. Um, competitive off their handicap marks but also potentially even more competitive because they will like the soft ground whether it's form shown by these horses or whether it's show uh, or whether it's um their their breeding that means they, they will handle the soft ground so i'm gonna stop rabbiting now uh, if you could give quickly give me a like or a subscribe that'd be great but let's get into it so originally i was going to Say, have a five pence each way looking 63 twice. Take the prices in one and don't in the other. But I'm just going to take all the prices. I think they could, I think they could change quite a bit. And the only reason why I wasn't originally going to take all the prices is because one of the horses, I thought it was far too skinny. But um, that basically, with six horses, I can't not take the prices just because of one horse. So let's get into it. So it's a 10 pence each way looking 63. The first selection is Retirement Beckons at 10 to 1 in the 3.55 at air, paying four places instead of three. And this is Skybet, and I do recommend trying to get on with Skybet purely down to the um, extra place races, which what I, I do actually target the extra place races. The second selection is Captain Corcoran at 8 to 1 in the 4.25 at air, paying four places instead of three. The th third selection ugh, is Vaccine at 18 to 1 in a 3.20 at air, paying four places instead of three. The fourth selection is Judgment Call at 16 to 1 in a 2.45 at air, paying five places instead of three. The fifth selection is Six Core at 6 to 1 in a 10 past 2. At air, paying four, <clears throat> paying four places instead of three. And the final selection, which I thought was quite a skinny price, is Fiery Bond at four to one in the 135 at air, paying four places instead of three. All right, what, what I'm now going to do, I did mention about the draw bias. And what I did leave the, the one o'clock at air alone in the, in the lucky 63, but I have included it. In the 50 pence each way double. So basically, all you need to do is go to the one o'clock at air and select these horses. Northcliffe, yeah, Sepa Heart Salah, and Humble Spark. Click all those horses, then go to the 425 at air and select Captain Corcoran, Wrecked It Ralph, and Burton Lodge Beauty. Then select Fifty pence each way doubles, or whatever your preferred staking is. Don't I wouldn't go above it, and the bet should come to nine pound. Click submit, and your bet will be on. So basically, what needs to happen is that ideally, either one or all the horses need to come placed, or one of them win in the one o'clock at air. Then the money will roll onto the four twenty-five at air. So preferably, I think Humble Spark is a fifty to one. That would be great. So all of a sudden, if that one won. You'd have £25 each way going onto all three horses in the 425, where really you would hope you would be hoping for one of them to win. 
the fifty to one, it's probably unlikely to happen. But you've got Northcliffe. I think it's about, I think it's about sixes. Then you've got Sepal Salah about fourteen. So you could have between three and seven pound each way going on to some of the other horses. Well, Burton Lodge Beauty is twenty eight to one. So it could be very interesting, a very exciting bet. Basically, those horses, I'm banking on soft ground ish, and they're all drawn low in the sprint. So, just to ideally capitalise on uh, this, I've gone for a 40 pence reverse forecast and a 25 pence combination tricast. It's in the 425 at air, and the numbers are these, these are the horse numbers, not the stall numbers, the horse that. The horse numbers on the race card are 4, 6, 8, and 11. And they're to be combined in a 40 pence reverse reverse forecast and a 25 pence combination tricast. So the very best of luck. If the staking's a bit too high, reduce the staking. Do whatever you think's best for you. So fingers crossed. Basically, I've, I've spent the best part of Sunday, probably from dinner time, looking at this. Uh, at this. I could get it wrong again. But that, this is what I've gone for. So the very best of luck, Charlie Winters over and out. Cheers, man.